So we're using jQuery to build a, uh, a tool that uh, will allow us to drag and drop uh, tools from, uh, from a left-hand side onto a canvas and then be able to drag them around uh, just as uh, shown here. For instance, we can drag tools right, and then we can drag them around. Uh, so right now we, all, we only uh, have uh, the layout as shown here, right, where we don't have anything to drag around, right. So let's add the capability of being able to drag these tools around. So let's do that. Let's go back to the HTML that we've been working so far. Uh, and, uh, and here are the tools, right, uh, and represented as uh, H3 uh, headings, right. Uh, and uh, what we could do is uh, use jQuery's uh, draggable uh, behavior. Right? If you go to jQuery UI, uh, you can uh, read up uh, on, on the documentation for the draggable interaction, right, where uh, you can, you can uh, apply the draggable behavior and, and anything that is applied to, you can just drag it around. Uh, this, uh, I, I, I certainly encourage you to uh, look, uh, look over their examples and the API documentation. You can look at the source and how they accomplish this particular example. Uh, this is this example right here, the default functionality. If you just click at the source, you'll see that uh, you know they had this little div with the drag me, right? This little div, and then they just use uh, the draggable function on that uh, particular element. Okay, so let's let's do that uh, now, right? So let's um let, we want to grab these these three uh, tools and make them draggable. Uh, so one one uh, uh, typically the way this works is that uh, you first need to uh, provide uh, either a, uh, a class or an ID that uh, ID that uh, jQuery can use uh, to select or or refer to a particular that particular element uh, in the in the DOM or in the in the document. Right? So let's let's use for instance a class, right? Because um, class class is used uh, when you want to apply a certain behavior uh, or styling uh, to a family of um, of, of, of elements, of HTML elements. So these are all tools, right? So they should all have the same styling, the same behavior. Uh, so we're applying the class tools. For this particular case, we're not using it to style uh, the tools or apply any CSS styling. We're going to be using it instead so that we can refer to it, uh, refer to these tools uh, from a jQuery. So let's go back to our initialization function. Uh, and let's refer to those elements. So let's grab them. So one way to grab them is to use the jQuery um, objects, right, or global objects, uh, to and and provide the uh, CSS, the CSS uh, uh, that can refer to that to those to those elements. Dot tool, right, uh, is a uh, is a selector. Uh, that that refers to any any element that has the class tool. So this right this right here is referring to all three of those tools. Okay, right. And um, and to make them draggable, it's as easy as calling dot draggable on them. Right. And this is a function declared in the jQuery UI library, the extension right a library to jQuery. Uh, if we do that and we go and refresh our page. Now you'll notice that at first they're not draggable. Right? I'm clicking and trying to click and drag, and they're not draggable. But if I refresh, right, uh, notice that now they are draggable. I can just drag them around, right? I can drag them around. This is not exactly what we're looking for, but nevertheless, right, we uh, we have added the draggable uh, capability. Okay? Uh, what we want to be able to do is um, is uh, behave like what we have here. The example is that when we grab them. Actually, the original tool stays, right? We're only dragging kind of like a copy or kind of like a, like a ghost of the original, right? That we can then drag it and, and, and drop it out to the canvas. Uh, so to do that, we can look at the documentation, the API documentation, and we can see that the, um, we can configure how the helper behaves. So the helper is, um, is uh, uh, you know, as, as we're dragging, right? Uh, uh, you can configure what happens, what gets dragged. You know, does the original element get dragged uh, or some other abstract representation of the original uh, element gets dragged. Maybe you want to represent it as maybe as a little box or, or as a little symbol uh, and not, not the actual uh, uh, element. So, so you can look at the documentation uh, for, uh, for draggable, right? And you can, you can uh, take a look at the helper. Helper is 
is what do you want to drag, right? How do you want to represent what's being dragged? And the default is to drag the original element, right? Um, uh, or an, uh, you, can, you can provide other configuration. You can say a clone. Because I don't want to drag the original. I want to drag a copy of the original, right? Uh, so let's do that. So let's provide a, uh, a helper configuration. Uh, and, and, and you can configure the, the options of, uh, of one of the, uh, of, of, this, of the draggable function by using a JSON object. Notice that this is a JSON object who uh, has one name value pair, right, that allows you to provide configuration for the helper and provide clone. All right, so let's do that. Let's uh, go back and, um, and configure draggable here by providing a JSON object whose helper right, is um, clone. Right, so if we refresh that, if we refresh, uh, notice that if I click on tool and start dragging, notice that I'm not dragging the original, but a copy of the original. See that? Right. Um, notice that uh, the copy uh, is uh, uh, the, the the styling of the of the copy is a little off. Notice that it's uh, kind of like wraps. The content doesn't fit quite right, and so it's uh, it's wrapping. So we can we can fix that. Uh, by going to the style tag and say that all H3s were not going to allow any wrapping. Uh, to do that, we can say uh, white space, no wrapping. Right? If we refresh, right, notice that now we can drag and there is no wrapping. Right? Also, you'll, you'll notice that, um, that uh, these tools uh, are kind of like behind, right? uh, kind of like uh, the canvas is, uh, is on top of the tool, so the tools are not being rendered on top of the canvas, right? Uh, so we can fix that by ch by setting the size, the the um, the uh, uh, the z index of the H3, so that is is above uh, the canvas, right? So for instance, we can uh, take a look at the we can inspect the H3, and uh, we can um, we can configure the styling of a H3. We can say the z index of all h3s is uh, perhaps two something bigger than one so if we drag notice that now as we move the, the the tool it's above the canvas notice that when we let it go it doesn't actually add it to the canvas for that we'll need to add additional jquery but let's uh let's style this we'll say that the z index uh we'll say uh two which is higher than one which is basically all elements at default have an index of one uh, let's do. Let's refresh. See if this works. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so uh, we've shown you how to add uh, the draggable and configure it. Uh, one uh, last thing uh, is um, is that you'll notice that uh, in their in their examples in the jQuery examples uh, they use this dollar sign symbol. See that? And uh, instead we're using jQuery. And and um, um, and so what, what dollar sign is, it's just an alias, right? It's an alias symbol uh, for the jQuery uh, object so that you can use uh, either one, right? And since us developers are um, fairly uh, lazy, uh, we don't like to type too much, um, you know, we have this, this, uh, this uh, shortcut that allows us to uh, abbreviate the jQuery, refer to the jQuery object by using just plain old dollar sign. We refresh our page, we'll notice that it behaves just just the same. It behaves exactly like before. Okay. All right, so in the next video, we'll see how we can uh, start adding things uh, to the canvas.